guys welcome back to my channel as you can tell by today's title we're doing spring essentials so without further ado my name is Inka you can call me YK or you can call me nothing at so let's get into this video um don't forget to like I was gonna say thumbs up but it's the same thing don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment down below let me know what you already have in your closet the entire point of this video is to make sure that you guys don't spend money this spring because if i can't spend money neither can you if i can't get the goods neither can you i'm kidding um but essentially i am being forced i'm not being forced i'm forcing myself to not spend money on clothes especially fast fashion because a lot of the things i will show you guys are fast fashion that's where i buy most of my things not because of any other reason than they look nice on the website and i like them so I'm trying to be conscious and cautious of where I'm putting my money um, and also just so that I can save up to buy the things that I really want to buy um, for my birthday, which is in the summertime. So I figure if I don't spend in the spring, I got a little something for the summer. Are you catching? Are you picking up what I'm putting now? All right. So without further ado, um, I'm going to start with essentially this outfit I have on. Um, so again, we're transitioning from cold to warm, potentially hot. Um, and so blazers are in my closet. Um, I have two blazers. I wish I had more. I, I wish I had more blazers, but I only have two and they're both black. Now, I do like them because they go with everything. So I have this blazer. Um, I got this from Zara many, 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 maybe like two years ago, 2021, 2020-ish, around that time um and she has done me well she has served her purpose uh, like i said i have two blazers i have this leather one and then i have this i want to say it's more i mean i'm pretty sure it's more polyester than it is linen so it's this is leaning towards more of like a polyester um blazer and i just like it because it's again it's black it's basic it goes with everything because you don't really need to style up black which is why i like black um so if you don't have a blazer, you don't need to spend a crazy amount of money on the blazer. I know Zara and all the other fast fashion places sell blazers like year round pretty much. But this one I got from Zara. This one I got from the thrift store. Your best bet of getting, first of all, a really good blazer and also really inexpensive is if you go to a thrift store. So if you have absolutely no blazers in your closet and you want one, I wouldn't advise you to shop and like in an actual store, just go through a thrift store and you should be fine so all right so my number two spring essential spring essentials oh my gosh my number two spring essentials are basics and i am wearing a basic right now this is just a basic um tank top that i got from zara again like i said a lot of things are from zara because i shop there a lot um but this is from zara i have this in black and then i have it in white as well because i tend to buy either multiples of something because i know i will use it and i've had these two for years and i just i don't see myself getting rid of it anytime soon because they serve they serve their purpose they're basic they're simple to style up they're i don't have to think or create anything outside of the box they're just easy and they're simple and they're very comfortable and airy as well um, other than that essentially all you need is a basic tank tee so i would say black and white because again they're very simple it's not rocket science on how to style them hello hi hi on the trend of basics i think a basic white tee and a basic um black because I'm wearing basic tanks. These are tank tops that I'm wearing right now. And these are actual t-shirts. Um, I will create a video. I think it might it might be best if I do. Um, so some of the things that I mentioned, I will actually create like a lookbook of what of what I would wear in spring and like how, how I would style them essentially. So yeah, keep your keep your eyes out for that. Because I feel like it makes the most sense if I'm saying don't buy stuff, but you're showing me the things, but you're not really showing me how the heck I can wear them. So yeah. I'm gonna do that. So next up, we have linens. That's my next essential. Everyone needs um, just a basic, not linen as in the material, but like, let me rephrase that. A cotton button-up shirt. That's the word, a cotton button-up shirt. 
Hey, how you doing? Sorry you can't get through. Why don't you leave your name and your number? We'll get back to you. Hey, how you doing? Sorry we don't mean to be rude. Why don't you leave your name and your number? We'll get back to you. I know that you keep calling my phone, but baby, there ain't nobody home. So won't you leave your name and your number? We'll get back to you. We'll get back to you. We'll get back to you. We'll get back to we'll get back to you. Yeah, it's a cotton button up. Okay, Kobe. All right, so, sorry. Um, cotton button up shirts. So I think everyone needs one of these. Um, one that's striped. Hello, and just a plain white button up shirt. Mine is currently in the wash, so we're gonna keep it in the wash. But um, you don't need. I'll pop up pictures here and there for what I'm talking about so that you guys have like a pseudo idea of how to style things. But a striped button up shirt. I mean, you cannot go wrong. Um, it could be any color stripes as long as it's not something like ridiculous, like turquoise. I'm sorry, I just have beef with turquoise, like why? But anyway, so one that's striped and one that's plain. So it could either be like a black plain button up shirt, a white plain button up shirt either one but also then also have one that's striped because i think with stripes it kind of gives clothes like a little bit of shape a little bit of dimension silhouette and all that fun stuff so that's my personal opinion i mean i'm not like a fashion like know it all because i do not know anything like in its entirety and i'd be ignorant to say that i know everything because i don't so yeah but personally i like striped tees not striped tees striped um, button up shirts and also i think you can wear these like buttoned up or buttoned down so you can wear these with like a tank top underneath it especially when it's like a little warmer on those warm spring days you can wear this with a button no you can wear this with a um tank top underneath and it should be it should be good to go so yeah that is my third basics now number four i think i'm gonna do bags let's do bags shall we i would say for bags make sure that you're picking colors that one obviously they are fun for you but also colors that reflect what's in your closet and they go and complement what's in your closet i would not recommend buying anything new at all unless all your all your bags are turquoise i will keep saying turquoise in the entire video because i hate it so much just for demonstrative purposes i'm just going to literally style each of these bags right now just so you guys can see like with ease how it just matches my closet and i did not even think this through because again, my basic layers are black and that way it, it's just easy for me to, you know, Kobe, gosh. It's just easy for me to kind of like grab any bag and go. So in this case, I could wear this one top handle or like crossbody. I have no idea how this looks right now because I do not have a viewfinder. So imagine this looks horrible, that would be hilarious, but Essentially, I can wear this crossbody or top handle, but yeah. And then, last but not least, I would wear this top handle more than I would wear this um, as a crossbody, although I can wear it both ways. So, but if I was going out, I would wear it as a top handle only. And yeah, just so that, you know, it gives it a little bit of, a little something, something. And also like the brown kind of breaks up the, um, the coolness, the co not cool as in I'm a cool kid, but like the coldness of the outfit because it's all black and like a really dark denim. So next up on my essentials list, um, I'm bouncing around a little bit. So I'm going to go with denim, um, but I would say, I mean, I'm, a, I'm partial to like light wash and dark wash denims, but for example purposes, we have a dark wash denim right here so i love a dark wash denim the whole world loves a dark wash denim i think we are we are, we understand what's going on right now all right next up i think i want to do accessories because i literally have them on right now gold i'm a gold girl i love to mix metals but if i don't have to i won't or if the outfit does not call for it then i won't mix metals so for example purposes throughout this entire video i've stuck with the same um set 
these i got from shein a while ago so i think maybe they cost me like 199 and they were in a pack of five million earrings so you definitely can get away with very inexpensive jewelry um i don't believe in buying like you know five million dior earrings i mean but if you want to and if you have it like that girl go for it it's your money spend it how you want but you don't have to if you don't need to in this case um i just literally stuck with a basic plain set of goat hook earrings um i have a double piercing on one ear and just one piercing on the other so sometimes when i feel like it i would just wear two um earrings on this ear and then just leave this one a little lonely right here and then also um for my bracelet, I have this, that's just that. And then also for my necklace, we have this um, necklace from Justine Plinquette. I have it as a set, so it comes as a choker and a um, gold set. I usually just take out the choker if I don't feel like we're uh, mixing metals. In this case, I didn't feel like it, so I just took out the choker because the choker is silver and this part is obviously gold. And so this is from Justin Clean Cat. And like I said, my earrings, they're just from um, Shein, so nothing fancy. Um, the only thing that's, I guess, fancy in this is the Justin Clean Cat one, but I got it on sale on Suns a couple months ago. So wasn't too bad. All right, so my next essentials are knits and sweaters, okay? Um, all of these are off from h &M. I got these like a year ago. Um, and also, I got these because I wanted kite, the kite cardigans. I just didn't want to spend kite money on them. So, so like I said, I have it in gray, and then also I have it in cream, just like so. Um, and remember how I was saying I could pretty much style anything in my closet with what I already have in my bags. In this case, hello. I said I told you. So, bags are essential. But essential for what you already have in your closet, you don't have to buy nothing new. Tell me. Um, I know sometimes people, I mean, I wouldn't wear it with this, but I know sometimes people wear like the cardigans over, I keep saying sweaters and cardigans, but you get the drift. Um, they wear it like over like a blazer or a trench coat. You could do that. So um, I'll pop up pictures so you guys can see like what I mean by <laughs> wearing like a cardigan over or a sweater over a trench coat. But it usually tends to look something like this where like they have it like that. And then like, I think I've seen some people also do something like this where like they tie it like so. So really you can do a lot with a cardigan slash sweater. Either you're actually wearing, wearing it or you're just putting it on top of something. I mean, I wouldn't do this combination because this looks ridiculous, but I pop up pictures so you guys can see the vision of what I'm talking about. But yeah, essentially you need these because they is essential to your closet. Go me. Okay, now next up, um, I want to talk silks, slips, skirts, and then, yeah. I think springtime is the best time to wear a slip or I guess a satin skirt, if you will. Um, mainly because they are light, they're, they're feather light, they're thin enough, and you don't feel like, you know, it's it's not stiff, it's not stiff, it's not stifling to mobility or anything, and they're just so stinking cute. Um, so this one I got from Zara. This is a dress that half the time, what I do with dresses sometimes is I wear the dress and I'll wear a top, um, I'll wear like a t-shirt on top of the dress, and then I'll probably wear a blazer or a cardigan so that the bottom part looks like I'm wearing a skirt, but really it's the whole dress. So yeah. But I think you definitely need these. They're basic enough that they can go with, this can go with this, I promise you can. Um, again, I'll pop a picture so you guys can see. Um, so you can wear a slip, a slip skirt with a tank top, a t-shirt, you can wear it with a sweater, you can wear it with pretty much any basic, you can, a bodysuit. Oh, the amount of things you can wear with a slip skirt should be criminal. Last, but certainly not the least, we have linen, 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 um pants and a linen skirt a pair of linen pants um you could do black you could do cream i would stay away from white though stay away from white um you could do grays you could do cream and you can do black for spring 100 i co-sign um this i like because it also has like a tortoise 
shell um, for the buttons. So it gives like a nice little detailing on there. So that's that. This one's for Mango. Um, this, um, if you remember, I got this from my Zara haul a few months back. Um, I will also link that video as well. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I wouldn't recommend this specific script from Zara only because it just material wise, it wasn't made well. But since I have it, I'm not gonna like not wear it. Other than the fact that the slit just continues a gradual process upwards to the nether regions. Um, yeah, that's my only gripe with this. It just wasn't made well. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't made or structured well, to be honest. But then again, it's Zara, what do you expect? That's all I have to say about that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on the next one, which is going to be the lookbook. So keep your eyes peeled and I will see you guys next time. Until then, stay loose. All right, bye guys. <laughs>